A former Boston College student is facing a manslaughter charge tonight, accused of abusing her boyfriend physically and verbally before his suicide. And the district attorney says In Young Yu sent text messages repeatedly encouraging Alexander Ertola to kill himself. The DA says that when Artula jumped to his death on the morning of his graduation, the suspect was actually standing nearby. WBZ's Louisa Moeller is live near the BC campus tonight with this story. Louisa. David, Lisa, the DA says in the two months leading up to Ertula's death, the couple shared 75,000 text messages, and the defendant allegedly said things like, go die and go kill yourself. Mr. Ertula's family was in town from New Jersey to watch him walk across the stage, graduating from Boston College. But on May 20th, Alexander Ertula never crossed the stage at BC. Instead, prosecutors say the 22-year-old jumped to his death from the Renaissance garage in Roxbury. The indictment alleges misused behavior was wanton and reckless and resulted in overwhelming Mr. Ertula's will to live. On Monday, Suffolk County District Attorney Rachel Rollins announced that In Young Yu from South Korea was indicted on a charge of involuntary manslaughter for her role in Ertula's death. Over months, investigators say the former Boston College student sent Artula thousands of manipulative and abusive text messages telling him to kill himself and was even there when he did it. Miss Yu was tracking Mr. Artula's location as she frequently did on her phone. She went to the garage and in fact was present when Mr. Artula jumped to his death. And are there any other issues that could the call case, them? similar to that of Michelle Carter, the Plainville teen convicted of writing text provoking the suicide of her boyfriend, Conrad Roy, a conviction that Conrad's aunt says may have spurred the DA to take up this case. The DA can see that there is precedent that was set with the Carter case. For Conrad's family, another tragic reason to raise awareness of the uncomfortable topic of suicide. It's reaching out when you see that someone's struggling and getting them help, or if you're struggling, getting help. The DA says you withdrew from Boston College after Ertula's death. You is currently in South Korea, but the DA's office has been in touch with a representative for her there. DA says if you does not come back voluntarily, she may pursue extradition. We're live in Chestnut Hill. Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. All right, Louisa, thank you. Now, Michelle Carter is still in prison, serving out her 15-month sentence in the death of Conrad Roy. Last month, Carter's request for early release was denied by a parole board, which found Carter has not explained her lack of empathy. Carter's attorneys have filed an appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. The court has not yet decided whether it will hear it. A bill filed this year in the name of Conrad Roy would make encouraging someone to take their own life a crime in Massachusetts. Anyone convicted would face up to five years in prison. The bill is now before the Judiciary Committee in the state Senate.